every day that I'm on this earth, I find myself agreeing more and more with Candace Owens. I started out as a staunch hater of Candace Owens. And I would have been somebody that's like, yeah, I agree with Destiny. But for some reason, all right, for some reason, people like Destiny have fallen into this place of like no morality whatsoever. Everything goes hyper liberal land that I just can't get with. And, and even though Candace Owens is far right, she's not far enough right to where I can't agree with her at all. Like Destiny and them, they're they're getting to a place where it's not good. It's just it's just not a good place for society to be. Like the the reason society exists the way that it does, the reason there are rules, the reason there are stigmas, the reason there's shame is because certain things should not be done, should not be said. And and let's and let's get into what Candace Owens called called Destiny out for. All right. You're 30, how old are you? You're 35 years old. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So what what are you what is that? What do you what do I do? Like if you were 20 well, and you were I'm saying this stuff, I travel the world, I get to research and talk about whatever I, I guess, want, I get to yeah. talk cool people like you and other people, I get to, I live in Miami in a high rise for five thousand a month. I mean, I, I think my life is pretty okay. I mean, okay. What do you, but no, but I'm saying like, what are you doing when you're trying to sell the people that, you know, being a hoe is cool, smoking pot, saying I don't necessarily like, think that they know Are you, 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 you going to age out of that? When like, I try, when I talk, you're, know, you're a 35 year old man, right? Like, you know, and you're, you're, you're kind of doing the like, I'm a college dorm kid and I'm trying to make everything sound cool. But I just want to point out the fact that you're a 35 year old man mm -hmm. and your words should matter and they should they should have weight. Like you, if, I, know, I, I said, if you were 20, I'd yep. be like, I get it. When you're 35, mm -hmm. you know, say things with conviction, say I'd things say that have meaning. Things with conviction, yes. You know, and like when I asked you, what would you recommend to a woman at 25 or 30? I didn't start rambling about what a 20 year old should do and how biological, blah 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 blah. I would say exactly what I would tell a woman at 25. Or 30. Yeah, I know, but your behavior and 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 I will appreciate that people that are younger won't understand what I'm saying until you hit 35, which mm -hmm. is I'm I'm gonna be 35 this year. Okay. You're acting like you're a college dorm kid. Yeah, and your catty insults towards people online make you seem like a high school mean girl. Okay. I mean, like, what do you mean? Like, we all have our, our things. But you're like, selling to them things that you know aren't good. So what do you think I, I'm so selling if you, to them? If you were you a 25-year-old, like, when I'm on the Whatever podcast and I'm yeah. surrounded okay. by women that are in their 20s mm -hmm. and they're saying, like, you know, the whole life is good, the reason why yeah. I said to that girl that I'm going to pray for you is because I know that she's going to have a different perspective when she's older. So I don't, I'm not upset by that. I don't. And I don't and I don't find anything wrong with what Candace Owens is saying right here. Like that makes absolute sense. One, Destiny, you're too old to be condoning some of the behavior that you're condoning. You know and have seen the outcomes of the people in your life that was doing those things. Their outcomes aren't good. We all know that. The outcome isn't good. They all turn around and say, Man, I wish I wouldn't have did that. All of them, all of them said the same thing. They all regretted on some level. All of them, all of them, they all try to run away and get rid of the stench that's on them from it. And they can't. The internet is forever. Somebody always keeps finding more of their videos and more of their content. And as years and time goes on, it's not worth it to hire lawyers to, you know what I'm saying, to copyright. Um, Claim it or get it taken down or send letters to get it taken down. So the porn companies leave it up and now you're just stuck with it up. OnlyFans doesn't stop screen recording. And a lot of women, their videos and pictures and photos, they all get leaked online anyway. People have been ripping those things forever. It will never stop. And you're going to have to deal with the consequence of your child being able to see you naked or even worse, your child's friends seeing you naked and bringing it up to your child. Do you want your child to have to have that discussion with somebody? The answer is no. Truthfully, no. You can put on a tough face for your child, but when your child goes to their room, you're going to be in that kitchen alone, fucking crying. That's the truth of the matter. And then, uh, and then, and then, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's it. Like that needs to be attacked when that woman, when that young, when those young girls are around me and we're talking about all of these topics. When I'm sitting with a 35 year old man, okay, and what do you, you think I'm and, selling and, people? And you know better, okay. Wait, what do you think I'm selling people? Well, do you like think I'm I said, people well, like, what I said when you were defending 
the lifestyle of being a hoe. Why are you doing that? I don't think I defend the lifestyle of being you a hoe. You did. You did a whole video basically saying that none of my points of me trying to tell these women that they essentially you can do something better. You don't have to sell your body. This was your like snazzy video. Come back to it. Why are you making a comeback? Yes, you can make a video and be like, why can't someone do heroin? But why would you as a 35 year old man want to sell something to someone or make it seem okay or cool or relevant when you know it's harmful to them? I don't get that because of your age. So, I, guess I, kind of I don't tell people things. that they have to do a particular thing. But if I see somebody that's, do. that's doing heroin, I'm not going to be like, you know, it is whatever. And it's just like, whatever. You're just you think that doing heroin is comparable to recreational I, sex? I, I, I am. I am quite frankly. So, so, so look, so look, that question that he asked back, no, no matter what he, she says, it's not that heroin. All right. Cause we all get it. She's using heroin as an example. The thing is with, with having, being hypersexual and having sex with all these people, it gets to a point where it takes a toll on you. And, and that's, that's something that people don't speak on. It takes a toll on you, whether it's your ability to connect with other people, whether it's how you um, how you view sex, how you view the opposite, like the people that you're having sex with, the value that you give to it. You know what I'm saying? Then intimacy starts to become nothing like nobody. Nobody wants that. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> and for society as a whole and for their life and what it does for them outside of them getting money. You know what I'm saying? Like the temporary gain of money, it sets them up for failure. And nine times out of ten, most of those women are not doing what they're supposed to do with that money. Therefore, they end up in a bad situation where they end up having to do more degenerate behavior to keep up their lifestyle that they have. I actually think a woman, as the one that I sat across from when you were critiquing this video, who says that she slept with up to, what was it, 20 men per night? Yeah, it's just as bad. And I know that that has to be hurting her soul. So I look at her as a human being. Hurting her and, soul? Yeah. She just has a different lifestyle. She doesn't. Completely. She no, does, she doesn't. You she, know? No, she ha What do you mean? You know, she's, she's telling you. She was very honest, actually. And that's why I appreciated her, because she was very honest that for her. Having sex with 20 people a night. That has to, first of all, physically, your body is hurting. Hey, straight up, physically, your body's hurting. Okay. I don't care. Bro, there's no guy. Guys, I need y'all in the comments. 20 women? Like, bro, I, there's no way I'm busting 20 nuts a night. There's no way. There's no way. Who the fuck? Who? I'm putting up LeBron numbers in the bedroom. What the fuck is going on? Hell no. Ain't no way. 20 a night, bro. Bro, it's not only is it physically demanding, it's sexually demanding. You know what I'm saying? It gets to a point, it's not even like you're just doing mess. It 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 probably don't even feel good no more. Like, like her her vagina sore, swollen. It probably don't even get wet. Like, you know what I'm saying? She gotta use the KY jelly. You know what I'm saying? She gotta hydrate in between. She over there, she over there got liquid IV. Like, what are, Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Let's be real, bro. And look at how you're looking at the camera. Man, let me enlarge this clown, bro. Look at how he looking at the camera, bro. Look at how you're looking at the camera. Like, what? what is Buddy doing? What is he? Like, look at his face, bro. bro and, and all this stems from the fact that he his girl, you know what I'm saying, is out here effing other people, too. And he's like, all oh, like, oh, I'm happy in this open relationship. No, you're not. He's not happy. That is not the face. That is, those are not the eyes of a man that is happy, a hundred percent happy with his love life. That it, that's not it. He's not that guy. It is just about money, okay? But when I see that individual, when a young woman is saying that she'll sleep and see up to ten to twenty clients per night, that's a broken individual. And it's just as and when, just as when you see what? somebody who says that you know they're doing heroin or doing this they don't need the guy the cool guy at the party be like yeah man it's whatever like you it's like no you actually like structure you need somebody to say to you you don't have to do this there you there's so much better potential within you you are young you have your entire life ahead of you let's figure out what it is that you're great at i understand the economic concerns it's a really tough economy and it's easy money yeah but there's other things that you can do to make money that will give you better self-value. And so that's why I say that I think 
that what you're doing as a 35 year old man is you're you're lying. You're just lying. Do you think? So and 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 not only not only is he lying, I want to point this out. All right. He's a 35 year old man that has resources, fame and money. It it it's almost predatory of him to promote this behavior because he could it, it easily allows him a pool of women that he can access with just money and fame alone. Like if if this level of degeneracy isn't promoted, that means he would have to actually be someone of value. You know what I'm saying? Outside of what he has. He, he would actually have to have great character. You know? And and that's what it looks like. Now I'm not speaking on his character because I don't I don't know him. I don't know him to be a bad, particularly bad guy. You know what I'm saying? In real life, like I don't know him. Um, but I'm just saying promoting that lifestyle allows him easier access to women. And maybe that could be a character flaw of his own. I don't know, but it's almost predatory. It's almost predatory. Like as a man, <clears throat> I, I I couldn't say that. I couldn't say that because it's it. It only benefits me that there are young women that are selling themselves on, online and I have wealth because then I I have more, 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 more and more and more and more and more women that I can access easily. Easily. But listen, y'all, y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below. Candace Owens, uh, ma'am, I, I, I agreed with you 110 percent. Woo, man. Hey, y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below. Please subscribe. I'm out.